How was your trip, Mr. Rockwell? Awful. Have you been making any progress here? It's not so easy with this castle. And what's the matter? It's the inhabitants of this castle. They're sort of... not exactly alive. Well, what are you talking about? Vampires? You knew that? Of course I knew that. That's why I'm here. Take a look at this. These are just shreds of paper. I was out of my mind with fury when I first saw it. Your test results? What's the diagnosis? If it wasn't enough that I spent half my life in this ridiculous wheelchair, now it turns out I only have two weeks to live. I'm very sorry, Mr. Rockwell. On the other hand, we'll all die someday. I don't need your condolences. I'm only 71. I refuse to give up. And now I have a chance. You have to help me, Michael. Of course. But how? Have you ever heard of vampire sneeze? Or of a vampire with a flu or lung cancer? So, you want to become a vampire? Absolutely. This is my only chance. You have to ascertain whether becoming a vampire will cure my illness. Got it? I suppose so. I know you're a clever fellow. If everything works out all right, you'll become the chairman of Rockwell and Rockwell. I'll get settled in. Glenfield was supposed to get a room ready for me. Hi, Michael. Was your boss angry with you? Ellen, just the woman I wanted to see. Do you know if there's a library in the castle? Of course there is. I was just about to take some books there. Excellent. I'll come with you. All right, but first we must gather the books. Some illustrations fell out of one of the books. Could you help me put them back in place? What is this? It's an 18th century book by Dr. Alucard. It's called Contemporary Views on Vampires and Methods of Vampire Population Control. Fascinating. I'm ready when you are.
all done. Now, let's go to the library. Let's go.